Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode. My name is Zurag and today we're again uh, going back and draw Li Lao from Gunfire Reborn. A game I've been kind of playing a bunch lately and yeah, I've been playing a bunch of Li Lao. Like I'm um, usually like, if you know me, I kind of like warm colors and i'm usually like i uh, like kind of take like elements of that type as well that i love and usually i'm also not really a sniper type but i don't know in this game i've been like kind of enjoying just playing this character who's based on both lightning or like the electricity element and snipers kind of neat um but yeah we're not talking too much about the game instead yeah we're drawing leilu and i kind of wish i guess he was like pronounced Le leao lao I don't know. I think it would lay it sound cooler because it kind of just it sounds like lay low, like lay deep to the ground, lay low. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Makes it sound a little bit silly, but I guess it it comes from like another language. I guess like if you say something that is actually a word in one language, it can also be something like pronunciation wise in another language, and maybe that's also intentional in this case because he's like a sniper and they like usually lay low and are in the distance you know but yeah i mean it is also definitely a name if you like look it up it like also means something like that i believe i don't know exactly what it means in the actual language but i think it's something similar uh anyway in any case we're drawing him um he has his silly hat he's a sniper and yeah i just drew him in like a kind of classic sniper pose it's nothing too crazy uh however like two things like i've never really drawn much like guns at all so that's something and i also never really drawn uh electricity or like yeah like these kind of lightnings and stuff really coming off of him so both of these things were kind of interesting to try around with i would say that the lightnings were more of a thing that i had to try around with than the weapon i guess i just like reference one in the game which i don't exactly know how it's called but it's like that flaming sniper is it like piercing flame i think it's his name i'm not exactly sure but i think it is uh it's just like one of the snipers in the game which is actually like a fire weapon however in this case uh since like his ability is to like overcharge weapons or whatever he like can channel his electricity buffing himself and as soon as he shoots basically that shot has like electricity powers so i just kind of took the liberty to like make the fire effects on it electric effect because of his power i think it works even if it in the game doesn't look like that um but i thought it was a cool thing here um, here again, however, the line art, uh, sadly, it got a little bit damaged, the, um, yeah, the data of it, like the speed recording. So it's gonna show a little bit of the line art process, but then we're just going over to the coloring, already having it done, the li uh, line arting. Um, I mean, a lot of the line arting was like adding the, the electricity anyway. And it's also like a big part of this. Uh, of like the coloring and shading uh, everything finalizing a big part of that is also messing around with the electricity uh, i'd like try to run a little bit with the colors i refer i have like a very close color to how it is in game as well and i try to like give it yeah some more like stuff more interesting stuff i guess i try to like give it a lighter color like within the electricity effects and do that like everywhere and then also in the end i give it some more like glow effects and stuff i think it works it can maybe be better but i think it works it's quite all right and yeah uh, his hat is like actually not quite accurate to the game i suppose it does have like lips and like teeth and stuff but i think that what makes it even more silly looking I guess I don't super mind that, but like, I don't know. I didn't want to like add too much detail. Also, like, I don't know. I thought it makes it look a bit more silly. So I like, actually left it out. Um, give his nose like a little pink, cause that's actually how it is. I think his nose is actually even a little bit smaller, but like, yeah. He's like just a snowy tiger. It's like mostly just a triangle in game. Like the whole game is like in polygon style anyway like really there isn't like that much detail to the character 
Though, like, this is already probably a little bit more detailed than the character actually is in-game, I feel like. Not exactly sure. Well, maybe on some parts, not on others. Not exactly sure. As I'm, like, finalizing this, like, one thing I notice, the actual spl splash out of the characters in-game have, like, a bunch of, like, inked shading, basically, completely black. I think that, like, makes them really look cool, cinematic, and, like, kind of, like, I don't know, comic-y and dark style like kind of serious looking and stuff i like that style a lot and it, i feel like that kind of went missing with like completely coloring the line art as well and stuff uh however i still think this looks really cool and it's still like as i was like, like coloring everything and stuff it really gave me like a vibe from in the game this is, like more like it gives me more of a vibe for, like that's from the splash art which is like why i'm mentioning is this is like that's something i use for the reference but more like it like kind of looks like something in game but not polygon style i guess with like the colors and stuff it really gives me a vibe it's, it's it's i like it it's really cool regardless if you're also interested in the game or not uh, i hope you enjoyed the speed hunt of this character and yeah i think it like i said looks really cool i like how it came out i think i can maybe get better with like the lightning effect but for this case it does look pretty cool and other than that thank you so much for watching boop that like and subscribe button and see ya in the next one.